Sources you will find on the open web and on the library website will have a different quality of standard. In college, scholarly peer-reviewed articles are considered the best source for original research. In this video, you'll learn what a scholarly source is, what peer-reviewed means, why it's important to utilize scholarly sources in your research, and how to locate peer-reviewed articles through the library website. So what constitutes a source being scholarly? A scholarly source is written by experts in a particular field. The purpose of the article or book is to inform other experts or students of recent evidence-based research findings or news. Scholarly articles are commonly referred to peer-reviewed or refereed. Scholarly articles are reviewed by other experts in the same field to validate the quality of the information. When a professor requests you to use scholarly sources for research, he or she is typically referring to a peer-reviewed journal article that has been written by experts. These articles go through a rigorous publication process. A journal article's publication review process is an indicator of its value. A peer-reviewed article is a quality source because it has been read and reviewed by other experts in the field. For an article to get published in a peer-reviewed journal, the author must submit their paper to the journal for consideration. The article is dispersed to a panel of researchers to be reviewed for accuracy, quality of research methodology, quality of writing, and whether or not the author is contributing to the knowledge in that particular discipline. The name of the author is not shared with the reviewers. It's called a blind peer review. This anonymity helps ensure the article is judged based on the merits of the work and not the author's reputation. The reviewers write a report and recommend the article for publication, revision, or rejection. If the majority of the reviewers recommend the article to be revised, the author has the opportunity to make the article better and resubmit it. Peer review process helps ensure only the best of the best original research gets published in a journal. Scholarly articles are organized in labeled sections. There is an abstract, which is the summary of the article, an introduction, and frequently sections labeled methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, and there are always references listed at the end. Books can also be scholarly. Scholarly books are often found in the college library and published by university presses. Scholarly sources are not typically found through Google. Google Scholar is an option, but you may run into paywalls preventing you from gaining access to the full article. The library website is really the place to go for scholarly research. So what's not a scholarly source? Most everything else besides peer-reviewed journal articles and academically published books. But all because a source is not scholarly doesn't mean the information is false or poorly written. It just means the information went through a different publication process and the information is generally meant for a general audience and not other experts in the same field. Scholarly sources have been thoroughly reviewed for quality and they are evidence-based. Using peer-reviewed articles is an important part of the research process in college. Professors expect you to use peer-reviewed sources because they are the most credible sources to use due to the rigorous publication process involved. Using scholarly sources adds credibility to your argument and builds your knowledge base of the scholarly conversations taking place in the field and vocabulary used. The reference list at the end of the scholarly source is a goldmine of related scholarly sources to consult for further research. So how do you locate peer-reviewed articles for your research paper? Your college library subscribes to scholarly journals and makes them available to you through databases on the library website. To get to the library website, go to Academics and then Libraries. You can find scholarly articles through this, the main search box on the library homepage. Enter your topic and then filter re your results to peer-reviewed journals. Diversify your search by searching in multiple databases because different databases are going to provide access to different journals. Select the A to Z databases on the library homepage. You can choose a database that specializes in a particular subject using the All Subjects drop-down menu. Choose Human Services for Psychology Topics, History for History, Databases, and so on. Academic One File and Academic Search Complete are both very good multidisciplinary databases that cover a wide variety of topics. So if you're not sure which database to use, 
Either one of these are good options. If you're trying to access the database from off campus, you'll be asked to sign in. It's the same login information as your MVCC email or Blackboard. Databases will have an option to limit your search results just to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Scholarly articles have some distinguishing characteristics. They will always list the authors and the year of publication. Scholarly journals often have volume and issue numbers. There will be an article title and the title of the journal it was published in. There is often an abstract providing a summary of the research and conclusions. And they often have subjects for an introduction, methodology, discussion of their findings, results, and conclusions. There are always references listed at the end because the authors did a lot of research in order to write this piece. There are often tables and graphs, but there are little or no pictures or advertisements in the articles. If you think you might use an article for your paper, be sure to save the citation. In English class, you'll be using MLA. After watching this video, you should have learned what a peer-reviewed article is, why it's important to use as a college student, how to find scholarly articles through the library website, and distinguishing characteristics of scholarly articles. If you have any further questions about what is and what is not scholarly, ask a librarian or writing tutor.